Hello everyone, welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena, playing more Quick Draft to March the Machines. And uh, after my recent losing streak, I brought on Zephine to help me uh, recover my former glory. You know, thanks for having me. Yeah. The coach, the coach is here. Yeah, the coach who never played, who, who no longer plays Limited or Mom. Yeah. Oh, Invasion of Chandelier. This is like, I don't remember. It's like, okay. It's a lot of value, but... It's not clear whether that's what you need. Atris, great. Completed Huntmaster, good. Fat Keeper, good in Golgari. I mean, I want Atris. You could convince me to take one of the other black uncommons, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I... Like you said, I haven't played much of this, so for me, I would be looking at either of the signposts, the two-color signposts, so whichever one you're leaning towards is probably fine. I mean, Atris isn't really a, a signpost, right? He's a reprint that's just, like, a good card. Oh, okay, there's no, like, synergy with what Black and Blue does? I don't... Black Blue's like... plan is, like, grindy mill value. Um, this yeah, I mean, is a he's just... card that's just a big creature. Yeah, he's, like... He's he's generically good, I guess. Yeah, I don't even remember like what. I mean, this is just good in like incubate. Obviously, it's you know, I have had good results sometimes with this card, but often I just like get killed before I can pay the five. So yeah, I'm just gonna take Atris. See if an opponent lets me draw three again. Okay. Um, Harry Garzan. Okay, decent taster in red. Stoke the Flames, great red removal. Zada, questionable build around. Kami of Whispered Hopes, great, especially for the counters deck or like five color splashing stuff. Marshall of Zalfir, really good. Um, so I guess my answer is all the uncommons are good and all the commons are bad. No, no, actually the pest is good too. Could take the blue black land, but I think that's probably wrong this early. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's not a knight, is it? No, of course not. I I think we probably take the Marshal of Zalfir and like maybe you could splash Atris, maybe not, but it's just a great card. You could take the Kami and try to build some five-color thing, but we don't yet have evidence that that's good. Stoke the Flames is also very good. It's a little bit harder to splash stuff. Like, to splash it with four red. Uh, with, with a two red cost, I mean. Has there been enough uh, data to say, like, what, what color in general is the best? I believe... Um... I mean, okay, all, all that I really know about from, like, large data sets is people playing on YouTube, which they're playing Premier Draft, right? Whereas Quick Draft is different. The meta right. is different. But my understanding is that in Premier Draft, blue, white, and green, white are pretty good. Um, the knights and the counters, I certainly am never happy when I run into those. I don't know what the bots are taking, or I, I don't pay that much attention. Um yeah okay i think i think the the marshal is is fine like okay. if it pulls you more towards blue i think blue is a good color from what i've seen so yeah elspeth smite is sort of like okay salfir and lancer great in the knight's deck tetsuko apparently way better than i thought it would be there's like a non-zero amount of stuff with one toughness and you know there's like a red vehicle that's a four one uh, a hasty vehicle that's a 4-1, so getting to crew that is pretty good. Um, Realm Breaker's Grasp is okay, but you tend to be able to get several of them if you want. They're commons, right? So I think we take the Lancer or the Tetsuko, I guess. Um, yeah, I'd be hard-pressed to take Tetsuko right now. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the, th at three mana... Wait. Oh, I see. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the knight seems pretty yeah. good. Okay. Well, let's let's I don't know. Cut off the knights. That's our plan. 
Collective Nightmare, pretty decent removal. There's Renata, good card, obviously. Swordsworn Cavalier, great in the Knight's deck. Uh, as far as Dispersal, good tempo plays. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, that... The black removal seems... Yeah. I'm trying like, to remember, uh, like, yeah. whether there was any good black in the last two packs that we just, like, skipped because these cards were better. Like, is there some signal already that we shouldn't be playing black? I don't think it's that strong. If so. There was a expensive battle, I think, that was removal. Oh, yeah, the Invasion of Olgrotha, the five mana removal thing. It's like, I don't know, it's not that good, I think. Okay. It's five mana lightning bolt. Pack um, two was mostly, like, red. And yeah. I don't remember pack one already, so. I don't know. Well, right. we don't get any signals from pack one, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, for for wheeling something, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. But, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I I would probably still. The vac. Know, I remember I, the vac keeper was there, right? The, the three. right. I think, yeah, I think we probably just take the removal. Yeah. Another Zalfir and Lancer. That's kind of news. Wicked Slumber's okay. I think we take the Lancer for sure. It looks like Knights might be fairly open. Okay. Uh, this pack kind of... I mean... Negate is not great and not so hard to get more copies of if you want. I think we take... I mean, I don't know. The Bond Warden's okay. But I kind of want to take the Aetherblade Agent... In case we're still in black, it's an actual good card. Sure. Aerialist is great in any blue deck. Morganda's an okay fight. Dispersal's good. Cryptomancer's good. So, yeah, still looks like blue white's pretty good. Um, I think blue white wants mostly. Tempo creatures. This is a two mana flyer with two power. Yeah, looks good. It's not a knight, though. Uh, I mean. Billy Rider, right? Yeah. I don't know what the best card here is, but it's not better than Billy Rider. Like, Billy Rider is probably not the best card in the pack, but. Okay, well, there's only one card we could imagine playing, I think. Right. I think I would take the land. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I mean, failed conversion is not bad, but it doesn't look like we... We don't want to be in black. Maybe we have to be. Right. There's all this, like, off-color stuff reeling, but it's so bad. Who cares? Wow, I have to be a weird. Well, might just actually have to give up on. Some I don't know black. <laughs> we have to be black something right now. It looks like. Maybe, I mean, uh, the last the black cards that just wheeled are not that great, but maybe we're giving yeah. up on blue, right? I mean. Yeah, if hmm. you want to splash, Atreus, you could. I guess it's just like black white knights is not. Yeah. A real thing. I, yeah. I don't think we have anything that really makes Flywheel Racer good. It's like better than it looks as a mana rock, but it's still not great. It's kind of fun for splashing stuff. I mean, we take the Vanquish, but... Huh. Well, yeah, all right. I mean, two of these, I guess, is okay. I don't think I would want a third. Ah, uh, the good Rona. Hmm. It's... I mean, I've never seen this card not be insane. Uh, yeah. What else do it, we have? It looks good. Phyrexian Sensor's okay. I mean, I don't want 
want any of these cards. Eyes of Gataxius would be fine. I guess I'll take the Rona. Yeah. It's not a knight, is it? Surely not. No, it's a wizard. Daxos. Maybe maybe we're giving up white? Yeah. We haven't seen any white in a while, and they're all like knights, which is fine. But I mean, okay, there is you could take the knight of the new coalition if we wanted to stick with white or the cavalier. The weird is just such a good card. And the last pack, ugh, I don't know. When when did we get all this white? It was pretty early, right? Right. Except the Billy oh, Rider. Yeah. Like if we if we set the Billy Rider aside and look at our signals, we took this like pick two, pick three, pick five or something like that, and then we didn't get any more white. Yeah. So I kind of think maybe we give up on that and grab a weird. We don't really have any like Oh wow, this is what blue black is trying to do. But, you know, we have good cards in blue and black. Speaking yeah. of. There's also the the Mizumi informant. I don't know which you're supposed to take first. Probably the collective nightmare, but I think one of, you know, since Blue Black has Graveyard Recursion, Mizumi Informant is a bit better, and it's still just, like, decent. But probably removal is more important. Yeah. None of this. I would... Collect Meeting of Minds is good, but, yeah, we take the Nightmare. I think you'll wield something from that pack. That's fair. Good point. I think Deluge is still bad, especially if we're running uh, White, which I guess we're probably not. Um... Protocol Knight, very funny. I'll just take an Etherblade Agent, probably. Yeah. If you want to reset your, um, like how My your piles. curve looks, uh -huh. yeah, you can do. You can like leave the draft do, and come back, or how do you? I mean, you you just change the view. Like yeah, I think if you click oh, on up the. Here? Yeah. I should, oh no, it did. All right. Well, I don't know then. <laughs> Okay. I, yeah, I, I I wonder if I if let's say I just left the draft and came back. It's it's quick draft. I can do that. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Um. But I mean, we can just do this by hand. I don't know. I don't usually pay too much attention. I should. At some point, I'm like, oh wait, what's my card look like again? Oh wow, I put my forest in. Exciting. Um. Yeah. That's. <laughs> okay, good. Um, I mean, I was going to say Bola Slinger, but that's not in blue or black. We could take the land again. The counter spell is okay. It does. It's not a disaster. Um, disturbing Conversion <laughs> Mills, so it sort of plays into the blue-black plan, but we don't have anything else that does yet, and it's not that great as removal goes. I think I want the counter spell. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I thought the art on this made me. I thought it was the deluge again, and I was going to skip it. But okay, Gargantua is like. I mean, I think it's still good. Although I think you're supposed to take deadly derision. That's um, just a uh, something. Either it's a it's a reprint with a different name, right? Gargantua uh, or derision. No, the, the derision. Um, there was one. I'm you're thinking of one from like AFR, right? Yeah, something that makes treasure just like this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. There, there was deadly dispute. Mm, yeah. Um, that... But I think it like cost less, but required you to sack an artifact or creature, and made two treasures, or something like that. Uh, that was yeah, sacking your own creature though. It didn't target. It, didn't, it wasn't a, a kill spell. Oh, hmm. okay, yeah. But yeah, it seems like a good card. So. Yeah, I wonder if we we might have too much removal, and if we want the Gargantua instead to have like actual threat and draw. Um. You have. 
what, three removal spells and a counter spell? Yeah, I guess that's not that much. And this is a great card. You don't always get to six mana. <laughs> Render inert, huh? Well, I don't have any battles yet, so I'm not that impressed by it. It's okay for killing Phyrexians. I think I'd rather just take a... Oh, wait, there's a derision. I, could, I, yeah. I was blind to this card. Okay. Obvi obvious pick. Counterspell. I'm not going to take a Mirrored and Avenged. Yeah. Well, we sure have a lot of instant speed stuff going on. Um, Unseal is sort of one of the blue-black staples, but I'm not sure if it's actually better than Eyes of Gataxius. We don't really have any great creatures. We barely right. have any creatures. Uh, I mean, actually, no, we have Rona, we have Atrus. Yeah, I mean, you just stick one good creature and kill everything else, and so you win, right? Well, then you don't need Unseal. Right, right. But, I mean, it's like a... I see what you're saying. The, the creatures we want to get back are pretty good. Yeah? I mean... I mean, they're not as good as some of the stuff in this format. Last time I took Unsealed and Acropolis, I had Shouldered, and it was a lot better. But I still got whacked. Um, this is just sort of whatever, but I don't like Negate very much, I don't think. Yeah, it's a creature on four. Yeah. Can't hurt. I guess so is Atrus. Just... Uh... Um, I mean, okay, sure, but probably not running it. Hope not. Hope I'm not running that either. Yeah, I was going to say, if white is really popular, you could have taken the deluge. That's true. But I don't, I don't think it's popular enough. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't, I don't believe in any of these cards. Maybe they're good. Invasion of Theros. What is this? Oh, yeah. Well, it doesn't seem very good on the front side. The back side, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, this seems pretty fucking hard to use. Yeah. Uh, merciless repurposing, fine removal. Unconditional removal. I think that's probably the pick. Just add more removal. Yeah, well, it makes it half of a creature, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> fine. Yeah. Nine mana, exile something, make a 3-3. Three, three. I mean, of course it's not really nine mana. It's nice to be able to split it. We could just take this drag recycler, but that's got to be wrong. We don't need two drops that badly. We have plenty. Yeah, there Ballad's you go. great. Gift of Completion is not that bad. But I think we take the Thalid here. Could take black, white. We didn't wind up with anything we wanted to wheel, no. Or Splash. Splash, no. Yeah, just take the Thalid. Um, especially good in red-black where you have reasons to sack stuff, but still just, like, good, I think. How are we doing for Phyrexians? We have, like, a decent number of these flip cards. Um, but I think the Thalid just make stuff way faster. Halo Forager! Oh! One of the top blue-black... I mean, top blue-black uncommon, I think? Sweet. Now now we really need that unsealed in Acropolis. Oh, there it is. He, he took it, though, right? Oh, did oh, he, oh, I did. Yeah. Great. Okay, well, those two are the infinite engine, right? Never run out of cards with them. Nice. Or well, you do run out well, of cards. You have to, you have you... to let the the Halo Forger die, right? Somehow, to keep it going. Yeah, but I guess you you exile the Necropolis, so it's not infinite value. But you get to oh, like okay. play the Forager, you know, spending something else. Then it dies. Then you unseal it, and you like play the Forager to unseal again, and like I don't know, you get to mill them and also draw a bunch of cards. Uh, Invasion of Ogrotha, I don't think it's very good. I don't know. It looks uh, like it should be good, but... I think you have plenty of... Like, yeah. Better. I kind of just want to take the Berserker. Or is this... What is it? What is up with this? 
Four mana for three two flyer. I've never taken this card, but I think I'm probably supposed to take it sometimes. Like we have a decent number of transforming permanents. But I kind of just like this one mana. This is like a cycling card that's just weird. Like a cycling card that also gets to jump and puts a counter on one of your cards. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't have a strong opinion on any of these cards. All right. Oh, Invasion of Amonkhet. I think we take that. That That is a mid-game value card. The, the Huntmaster is also, you know, value. But this is card advantage, and then you get to take the best creature out of the graveyard, which hopefully does something. The Halo Forger is when it enters, right? Yes, so that would, would trigger. Mm. Nothing? You have something that cares about transform Transformers or no? Uh, I already forgot if you took that card or not. I think that was the one we were... No, no, no. We didn't take that. The uh, Phyrexian Awakening or something like that. The two-mana black card that incubates three and likes stuff to transform. I don't I don't have that. Okay. Um, and this one is not that good anyway. I don't know. I'll just take a Drag Recycler. I don't know. <laughs> Build my collection. How, how many of these do I have on this account? One. All right. No. Take take something that matters. I'll I'll I don't I don't ever play constructed. Timurette's good news. Yeah. Um, now you have a chance to build your collection. Yeah. Invasion of Xerix, quite a strong card. Probably not worth uh, splashing. Don't really want the shade. Oh, there's the red artifact, by the way. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll take the Halo Hopper. Um, is the shade really worse than the Etch Familiar? I don't know if you're playing either, but oh, that's. I mean, <sighs> that's true. I don't even know what the Etch Familiar does. It like gains you life or something. Yeah, it's just a three mana three two that drains for two. I mean, I think the shade is, like, shockingly slow. But I guess that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, right. We should take this and see. I mean... Yeah, like, think about having a shade and just killing their stuff turn after turn. Yes, be... I guess. I mean, I don't know. Usually yeah, my I experience don't... is opponent plays a shade, and then, like, it's a 9-10, and then they die. Uh... <laughs> no, okay, get the completion if you want it. Oh, this, no, this I is... I think we want the gorilla. Uh, oh, for value? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good creature. The Unseal Wield. We could take a failed conversion. I'm not really sure how to evaluate this card. It should have flash. That's my opinion. Yeah? <laughs> no, because it doesn't. I would throw in the garbage. Uh I mean, I don't know. If yeah, we, I mean, hmm. two two unseals is I probably mean, a bit uh, much. We don't we don't have any like killer creatures we're trying to draw. Like, there's the swamp cycler, right? The joke is you use it for a swamp and then you unseal and you get to draw a seven drop late in the game. Kind of fun, but I don't even know if that is what we we would be unsealing for. Well. No, I'll take the conviction, I guess. Conversion, I mean. Haha, <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, I think two of these is playable over a negate. Like, Oil Caster is bad, but it does like to be in the mill deck. Well, the last deck I played, which you haven't seen the video of because it's not published yet, was a, a blue-black deck that was much more focused around mill but had worse cards. Aside from two bombs. It had like two bombs and a bunch of bad cards. Uh, I don't know. Okay. And I got I, I got only two wins. Very sad. 
Um, well, how did we do creature-wise? Oh, damn it. Did I just put all my creatures into my deck or some stupid shit? I didn't. Okay, you have to do this. And then say, show me the creatures. Uh, so the three drop slot is a little heavy. Yeah. Um, I mean, the... I think for sure the familiar looks the weakest. I don't know about the sh if, if you need the shade. Uh... One thing I'm not sure about is, like, how good really is this Huntmaster? I love it when you have fodder for it, but we kind of don't, right? What that's am I, true. What am I ever sacking to it? I guess the Thalid tokens? Or, yeah, that's not... Or, like, you can nice. chump stuff and then sack it, which is nice. Hmm. Well, yeah, I mean... <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> it does seem bad when, when you say those things. <laughs> yeah... Okay, it's a good card, but I we just don't like have it at the moment. I think yeah, you're right. The familiar is not very good. The shade might be better in this deck. Um... Man, I think the um, the invasion of Amonkhet and oh, you cut one unseal. Okay, I yeah. was gonna say you have a little. Too much value and not enough. Yeah. I don't know. Early, but yeah, I agree. Cutting one of those three. And if you don't know which to cut, then just have one of each. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think you want one on seal. One almond cat. What was the other one you were putting in the list? The other on seal. I was like, if if on seal is oh. better, then play two. But if you don't know, then just play one of each. Uh. No, I think. I think one of each is, is good. <laughs> but I, I, I understand the, the derision, haha. Um, what does the what does weird do besides just be a good blocker early game? It uh, turns into a card it draws a card and becomes a three three for two for three mana. Mm. Um, I mean okay, it doesn't actually draw a card, but Yes, I mean it's a one mana blocker that like draws a card. Kind of nice. Uh our curve stops at four, aside from removal spells and these questionable creatures. I don't think I need two of these. One is fine. Right. I was just going to say, I count seven removal spells and two counter spells, so I think the fail conversion should... Yeah, should... it's it's heavy. I mean, it's, it's also a creature, but... Is it? It incubates, yeah. It surveils, too. It surveils, you're right. I always forget what it does. Yeah. That's sort of sort of like a creature. It draws a creature. Um I mean I kind of don't like the Thalid that much. We don't have any synergy for it. It's a good card. And if we cut it, we're pretty short on two mana creatures. But Yeah. I'm kinda of scared to cut it. Yeah. We ha we have good two mana creatures. Maybe one of the um, one of the four drops that's not Atrus seems met. Oh yeah, that's like... right. This guy's garbage. I just drafted him because it was offered to me. We don't yeah. really have much that mills, right? Yeah, yeah. This guy sucks. Uh, I just hadn't looked at my four drops. We could cut the other one too. I mean, well. I know, you, you, you want to cut a land. Of course. I mean, I... Basically, basically, I have 18 with the Mauler, so... I don't, I don't believe in that. I, like, I've played the 16 land life, and I spend so much of my time, like, not drawing lands. It kind of makes me sad. Hmm. Um, well, plus, I have a tendency like... to throw away lands when I shouldn't, so, like, I should run more. <laughs> um, if you want to... Keep the lands. I would cut one of the one drops. I don't know. Which seem like no. I I'd rather cut one of the like like a gorilla or something. It's not really doing much. Hmm. 
creature or battle, like, you know, we could get back Atris or Amonkhet or something, but there's not much else that I really want. Maybe Gloomfang Mauler? I took Gorilla because it kind of looks like, you know, the blue-black mill plan, but we don't really have any of that. And we don't have any super value... I mean, I don't know, Halo Forger, I guess. But this, this keeps us with a decent amount of heavy cards. Not a billion, but a few. Okay. All right. Let's give this a try. What, what's your prediction? Mm. Five wins? Oh, keep in mind, I went one, one, two most recently, so you're going to have to scale down a little bit to account for piloting. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Yeah, hope so. Death by death. Okay, pretty pretty great. Yep. I'd like another swamp. Oh, I didn't look at our land balance. Are we running like a ton of blacks and a little blue and should we adjust maybe? But probably not. I want to say you're heavier black. Yes. And I guess if you had 17, I would hope it gave you... It gave me 8 and 8 Nine. because of the duel. Okay. Makes sense. This thing's so annoying. Um, yeah, I guess we... I mean, <laughs> they kind of want to let this trade go through, usually. But I guess I still play the battle and attack it. I think so. Oh, they don't want to let the trade go through. Or not trade. They, I don't know. Green-white decks often just want this in the graveyard more than they want it on the board. Right. But I guess they have some plan to buff it or something? No. Okay. Well, turn poor Atris is yeah. what you asked for. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's, that's all this deck does. I don't know how to make Atris decisions so far. Like... Choosing from top down and face down and face up cards. Oh man, it's tough when opponents make me choose. Well, at least they're the ones doing yeah. the, the, the nagling. Either white agent isn't bad. How did the, it just says choose a pile? Do you know which one's going in your hand? The one I could I guess... choose on. Yeah. But I had that same question the first time this happened, and it. It, uh, I think it said choose a pile and that goes in your hand. No, it doesn't say. I mean, I'm worried these could just be two lands. I think I'll take the agent. Mm, okay. Okay. Swamp would have been alright, of course. But I'm, I'm happy seeing those two cards. I'm happy with what I picked. This is why you gotta run 17, so you can afford to discard two. Ooh, okay. They're just gonna let me flip it, huh? What? This has menace. Oh, that has vigilance. Oh, asshole. Okay. Well, it's annoying. Uh, let's see. Wow. Well, yeah. I guess I don't know. I <laughs> flip weird. Yeah, I think I'd rather have. <laughs> Have two the two land. lands? Well, yeah, now that we've drawn a bunch of double, an another double black card. Oh, actually, I guess just tap everything. That one, huh? I mean, I could block this with the weird swing with Atris. Oh, you you want to make that attack, really? Okay, then I get to flip the battle. I guess there's nothing really good to hit yet, is there? Oh, that would be pretty good. Why do you no, still think you can flip the battle? I uh, just because I'm bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I have to trade for this three-three. Yeah. The battle can wait 
for another day yeah. when you have a flyer. Like, I like uh, the idea of attacking with the menace. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I just need to draw a swamp. Okay, this works too. Oh. Hmm. I was hoping to be able to play this. Wait, well, yeah. And then I can convoke with it to still get the black. But I think I have to develop the aerialist. Yeah. Especially because it's going away if you yeah, don't? Exactly. That's that's why. And Ooh. I guess I could just play a one one death toucher. Yep. Their hand is very I mean, small. Think... Right. I think we're doing okay here. Does any of this exile? None of it does, right? No. I guess they played that land. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Let's see. So what is this? Enchantment that isn't a god from Graveyard. They have none. So it's a 4-4 that flips. All right, fine. Okay, so make sure you, yeah, convoke now. Otherwise, you can't yeah. convoke at all. Unfortunately, before blocks, but and I th yeah. think that I mean this four four is better in some sense, right? But this one's attacking. Yeah, you can't kill the other four four, right? Oh right, this is my this isn't the one. It's your only chance to kill this four four. Right. I somehow thought this was a kill spell, but it's big enough that it's not going to die from that. Yeah, I mean, one swamp takes care of Heliod, so... Yeah. Uh... I mean... Oh, get their 8-8 Trample Hexproof? Well, it'll be a 4-4. Four, four. Four, four. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But... Um... Or maybe I think taking the... back Atris is probably better, right? Oh, sure. Right, you get the ETB of the copy. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, and since I'm not casting any... Sp oh, I might cast spells from Atris, actually. So, I guess... Swing. I forgot that guy had died. I don't know. Oh, I should maybe have not played this tap land? Uh, yeah, that was this turn. Yep. So. Well, I definitely don't want any islands. Yep. <laughs> okay. Five mana, so I could cast a two mana thing again. If I play it now, oh. angelic reversal or intervention or like nothing. So it seems good to wait on this. Right? Right. Having this be harder to remove seems nice. Plus I get a card. Can't pay the green. Sure. Well, we seem to have outvalued them. We just need to, like... Yeah. What the hell does this do? Kind of nothing. It was uh, it's a bumpy road, but yeah. the deck did what it was meant to do. Tapping down the Death Toucher. Okay, I mean, I guess there is still some danger here. Um, I'm happy I mean, to trade Atris. Yeah. The question is, which one are we killing? I kind of feel like the Bolas Slinger is worse, right? We're yeah, going to kill the other one with Derision anyway, probably. I would even, I mean, I would even just 
wipe them out. Just, I mean, you're three three. Oh, oh. No, like yeah, just yeah, yeah. You're right. They literally have nothing next turn, so. I think main phase derision. I mean, I guess we could wait, yep. but I don't see why we would. I think you, yeah, you even get to play. Oh, that's true. This gives me a treasure. Yeah. The shade, I guess. Right. Oh, I could have flipped this and drawn a card. Whoops. Probably was better. Well, um, the agent. Yeah. That. That's what the. Oh, I see. Hmm. Oh, good. I'm glad I don't have any, like... Okay, so how much mana is this? Seven, eight. So not quite enough to Halo Forage the Derision and pay Ward. No. I guess we just play a Derision and... Flat. Yeah, exactly. Yes, I wish to target this. Is, does Timurit gain you life? Yes. I don't know. We could throw him out there now. I guess. Yeah, I don't think I need the treasure anymore. Sunfall? <laughs> I think that would be okay. I think I could survive a Sunfall. I can okay. pay blue for this. So I don't have to pay life. They, they don't, there's no... Sorry, there's no spell that gets rid of an enchantment, is there? On your... For your 4-5? I, I wasn't really keeping track. Oh, uh, I don't think so. Would that be lethal if there were? That's a good point. No, we don't have any. Oh, but I guess they could. Oh, Angelic Intervention oh, yeah. would, yeah. Yeah, it would make the so, horror right. fall off. We would have lethal. Good catch. Mana value exactly X, I choose two. This one. Here. Or white. Probably not gonna lose either way, but you know, yeah, good no, to make the best play. You're right. When 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 there's actual lethal that your opponent can't possibly prevent, you should take it. Also, we should check the dailies. Always what I do right after game one. When the gold shows up on the screen, I'm like, oh yeah. Cause it's not like I play these accounts forever. We're not casting red and white spells. Oh, I, I thought I saw the warning like less than 24 hours yes. left or something. I did. I haven't read the text on it either, but it, it's less than some short amount of time. Yeah, I, I guess it's going out of quick draft. You'll have to play Premiere if you want to. Oh, we didn't adjust our swamp count, I guess. Uh, uh, I think think this is a keep on the draw i mean we have a one and a two the one draws like yeah that would keep especially since we're playing a, r a ridiculous amount of lands A mono black mirror. It does look that way. Okay, well, at least they're not getting any super value out of that 
but it is going to hit me in the face a lot pretty soon. We're not sacking this now, right? No, I think... No. I think you just have to... Pass. Yeah. Could swing with the 1-2. Kind of a weird bluff, but... I, I mean... Well, so I was going to do that shipment before playing a land, but... They would probably be willing to block with Timurit. I'm like, yes, I can sack it in response, but... I have better things to do. Ugh. They're probably not running the gate, right? But <sighs> Cryptomancer kind of wrecks me. Mm. Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, kill the Halo Forager before they can untap, right? Yeah, definitely. And no attacks. Exciting. I guess they're killing the 1-1. One, one. It's pretty bad. Ugh. Well. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I think you just let him... Yeah. I can so maybe chump this later, right? Right. Like... Next turn, I can derision the flyer and chump this and not have to spend the treasure. And it achieves the same effect. Although the weird is kind of nice. Actually, the weird just blocks. I don't have to chump anymore. Yes. Oh, yes, this resolves. Ooh, that's something to unseal the Necropolis for. Oh, I forgot. Maybe I should have killed the gorilla before the forager. They would have gotten oh, to flip still... the battle, though. Mm, right. There's still no spells they can cast, right? Unless they dump, like... Not... I mean... Deadly Derision. Oh, right. Should I get one more land? Okay. Well, your creatures suck anyway, so who cares? Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just swing with this. Like, uh, I don't know. If they can remove the weird, it's kind of sad. Yeah, don't let them yeah. put the battle for free. Well, I'm not. I'm playing the weird. Oh, okay. But, yeah, I guess if, if they do remove the weird, I'll just be happy to chump, I guess. This Halo Forager is just going to stick around, I think. Well, I don't know. They might have no other proactive plays. Okay. Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't attack with the 1-2. Oh. I mean, there's some argument for letting them pop the battle that way you have a repurposing target i think i have i'm happy to i don't, I don't need one right now i don't think okay oh you're, you're gonna unseal and play like rona or something probably yeah one? although then they get to flip the battle and that gives me something to do on the next turn yeah so i mean i don't know turn this treasure token into a card that seems fine slow them down okay Yeah, you're right. I think this is better. Ooh, that's a nice card to have. When you know yeah. their hand. True. I don't have to let it resolve. Although, yeah, they would need seven mana. Uh... I guess I have the treasure to play Rona and still hold up a counter spell. Yes. 
Good mills. I didn't see what they were. Three lands. Ah. And I think agent, right? How weird is... No, I want the 3-3 three, three death toucher. Yeah. Okay, I'll counter it. If they attack with Timurite, I think I do let them flip the battle. Because I don't want to risk Rona to a combat trick. And I have a way to kill the flipped battle if I have to. Right. They really thought about doing something. Yeah, Timurite costs two to activate, so they might just like... Obviously, reacting with this is not exciting, but it gave them priority, so we don't really know if they were thinking about anything or just getting a glass of water. Okay, so Rona, you pay five. Six with you pay black, I guess. Five, five, trample. Seems good. They do have a card in hand, so... If I activated it and swung with it, they would just let it in, which doesn't seem great. But it's a decent blocker. <clears throat> yeah, I think I flip Rona for five instead of six and then get this down as well. Yeah. Okay, so you're holding Rona back. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't think think attacking would accomplish much. They would okay. just let they would let me do five yeah. damage. Right. Well this is if there's ever a grindy game, it's a blue black mare, I guess. Yeah, I mean I don't think we've even started grinding yet. <laughs> the the, the have... decks are still half there. You still have another unseal and an and uh, a monk. No, cat, I cut an unseal. Right? Remember, we only have one. Okay. Okay. I mean, I can check the deck tracker, but indeed, there's no more. But I, I do have a lot of value cards left. Yes. You have your Halo Forger, right? Yeah, and an Atris, and as you say, Amonkhet. I don't know, they're... well... <laughs> they're invasion. Oh wow, another one. For two? Is there even anything for two? Counterspell? That's it, right? Did I miss something? Oh, Shapecraft, draw a card. Target one of my creatures for a laugh, since you're not attacking anyway. Mm. I mean, I think I want to repurpose the flyer. I yeah. might as well do it now. Yeah. Yeah. And then still pass. Yeah. Big creature. Oh, yeah. Backup menace, huh? Who do you give that to? Maybe the 2 1? No. Well, I'm not thrilled to block this. 
But it does just really? trade for my 1-1, one, one, so I guess I am yeah. too, actually. What am I thinking? Yeah, it seems great for you. Yeah. I sort of thought it would have more power than it does. That sure was a lot of work to trade. You could have just attacked with Timurad. I would have traded with the 1-1. One, one. What a card. Yeah, okay. good tap. And now I have a good double block. Well, I guess it depends. We'll see. Maybe I'm playing the Thalid. This is green on the other side, right? Yeah, I, can you tell what color the Phyrexian Tint is, by the way? What do you mean the Phyrexian Tint? The, so the, I don't believe this is an identical mana symbol. Like, I think this is three and specifically oh, yes. green Phyrexian. Right. Wow. Um. Kind of suspicious what they would put in a two-pile opposite Collective Nightmare, but... I think we don't really mess with it, and we just take the nightmare. Yeah, green. <laughs> Double land bait? No, two actual good cards. All right. Uh. So this has the potential to just want to trade into. Yeah, if they make this a three-three, Rona still blocks it. This, I'm just. I guess I want to double block like this if they attack with the 5-5. Five, five. Oh, also, Collective Nightmare can just kill this thing. Hmm. Could let them have it. All right. I'll animate, I guess. I wonder if I was supposed to not flip Rona? No, the 5-5 five, five has been pretty useful, even though the ability doesn't do anything. Because you, you lose the loot ability when you flip her. But. Uh, if they're. Let's say uh, they could have something uncastable that you yes. suck out of their uh, hand. It yeah. seems difficult. But if it's uncastable for them, it's probably also uncastable for me. So, I think block the 3-3 three, three with Rona, let them have this. Yep, that seems good. And if necessary, you can save Rona with yeah, that Yeah, I yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's the other Rona. <laughs> It's a bad Rona. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they were probably supposed to play that pre-combat. Yeah, I was wondering, like, what, why Yeah. they were holding. I was thinking, like, oh, if they have a creature counter spell, you can play around it by, by casting your stuff that. first. Yeah. yeah, but... 13 I hours mean... left, it looks like. Okay. Hopefully we don't need all that time. For <laughs> yeah. What are they? What are they running next in the quick draft slot? And what's in premiere? Let's see. Mom is going to bro. Yuck. But premiere will stay mom. Yeah, I, sk I skipped one and bro. I played like two or three bro games, or maybe. Maybe I just played the mid midweek magic for Bro? I don't remember. Disgusting? Well, I mean, good anyway. Yeah, looks good. I think we weird on turn one, swamp on two, and only then tap land. So that we can hold up the counter spell in the swamp cycling. Yeah. 
Oh, we still haven't gone to see if we can put in more swamps. We haven't really been short on islands yet, but we need a lot of swamps. Ooh. Okay, well, that's probably better. Yeah. Expecting... Oh, I was going to say expecting a forest. People are catching on. White, black, good stuff is... Uh, <laughs> the real thing. This is a callback, ladies and gentlemen, to the other mom draft you were here for, in which we went 7-2 with black, white, no theme. We had, some, yeah. we had a mild Phyrexian theme. The whole set has a mild Phyrexian theme, though, right? <laughs> yeah, but the the colors that have like cards to specifically take advantage of it are mainly yeah. in black and white, I think. Okay, that's aggressive. Yeah. Hmm. I can play the tap land, but I can also just flip the weird. Tap land drawing a swamp is. Probably okay. Yeah, because this 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 holds a counter spell as well. I would love for them not to get a creature on the battlefield this turn. Did you go first, or did they go first? I'm player one. Okay. Running multiple different swamp arts? Okay. Personality? No Norns, oh my god. I didn't read it, but I'm assuming it's a good creature. It is. We needed some of those in our last deck. I don't remember. Maybe, we think we had one. Alright, I guess just, like, weird? I don't really yeah. want to hold any of this up. Yeah, it is nice. Uh, I don't think I attack. Right. I mean, it's a little worse to hold this back when they could have a combat trick. Because, like, if they attack, blocking looks pretty scary. Yeah. But if I attack and they block here and put counters there, that's not even so great for me. If this has to trade for a combat trick, that's life. Do we have any one mana blue spells? No. The weird. Yes, right. I was like, don't we have one? But yes, it's already in play. So we don't have to play the swamp before playing Atrus. This time I'll remember. Although, probably that's the only land I'm playing anyway. Might as well not let them know I have five in case they're faced with some decision where they decide to deny me land. No good spells for Halo Forger yet. Of course, we have the Drizzen in hand. What the hell? Is this some psyop or? I mean, I'll take the nightmare, right? Yeah. There's not that many better cards in your deck than. Rona's pretty good. Yeah. Uh. Well, I kind of like just sorcery speed killing the flyer before they can get a counter and protection on it. Oh. Okay. I guess, yeah, it gives your forager something to do next turn. Oh, that's true. I just, I didn't want them to have two white mana up when I tried to do it. Sure. And I don't think I need Atris as a blocker. Great. So 
so yeah i mean we could just forage out the collective nightmare that seems pretty good kill the one one i suppose yeah How have I taken damage? They must have attacked me with the Bond Warden a time or two? That doesn't make sense. Did the Flyer get me? I don't know. Anyway, I take this action and I pay three. Exactly three. This costs three. It's the only thing I could possibly use. Three, yes. It's been nice having 17 lands, right? We can just play the Gloomfang Mauler on curve? Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know, maybe the deck's trying to tell you something if you don't mess with the land base. I guess so, yeah. Could be. I mean, both of these are sort of okay if they get killed, but... I wonder if I should just let them have a counter on this. A 2-2 doesn't trade well into the weird anyway. Uh, if they do have angelic, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah. it would be worse. it'd be worse for them to put it on the Bond Warden. It wouldn't, so though, guess... because when it dies, it gets to move the counters. It, right, it'd be worse for you if they... If oh, they I put... see. Sure. Yeah, you're right. That that definitely is a better outcome for me. They're only running one weird swamp. All their planes... No, their planes are all different, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. You can't set that as your favorite in Arena. Like, pick a different one for me every time. They had to actually go through their deck and do this. Uh, it's tempting to put it on the flyer, but I think that's concentrating a little too much value. I might just play the agent and flip it, actually. Yeah, why not? Because then we get a Menace Death Toucher that draws a card when it connects. Got it. Oh, my cards! Help! <laughs> I'm going to get prickled to death after they finish dying, of course. <laughs> That's pretty good. I th uh, think we swing first. There's not anything I really need pre-combat. Yeah. Let's see what they want to do about this. Great. Well... That's four mana. No, five. I'd have enough left to play Rona, right? Right. Seems good. I guess I should have played this first. What am I thinking? Rona and I assume the giant creature? Yeah. Either late agent would be fine, but we already have one. Looking like a pretty solid victory here. I mean, I guess, okay, I didn't play around Sunfall very well. 
You got you have a seven seven menace, right? It's pretty good. It it still loses to Sunfall. Really? What is yeah. Sunfall? Oh, it makes it a huge. Yeah, it's destroy all creatures. Make incubate X, where X is the number of creatures destroyed. So they would get what right. a nine nine token. Seems good. Alright, I have to take a quick break. I'll be RB YouTube. Okay. I'm back and we looked at the the deck and realized, yeah, eight eight is kinda crazy with all of these black and double black cards. We're really almost just splashing blue with uh, eight of them, but it is pretty low cost blue stuff, so we don't want to do something crazy like ten six. Okay, a 1-2 curve with draw, just like we had before, and even Swamp Cycling. I'm not sure which one of us has customized Swamps. I don't really know what the set symbols are. I remember I customized some of my lands on some of my accounts. Both, both of your lands are custom. Uh, yes, the island definitely... Well, right, I believe you. I'm, I just don't know for sure myself, so... I don't know why, I was just hallucinating. I looked at the, like, no attacks button, and I briefly thought it said, like, you can go. And I was like, what the... That's not what that says. Okay. Hmm. Interesting they don't want to trade for my 1-1. One -one. Okay. We just run out of Thalid here. Hmm. Yeah, you were talking about the um, symbols. I actually meant to look at a card in person. Mm -hmm. I think they are just very slightly differently tinted, but it's so hard to tell. We're not proactively sacking this one too, like ever, right? Mm, proactively, like, no, yeah. Hmm. What? I think we just the Thalid, right? Oh, they... I mean, this represents this is this is a three three and two one ones. If I wait. Okay. Well. Uh... You said something about they weren't willing to trade last turn, but now they are. So... Yeah, it is a little weird. I'm all, I want to be mana efficient and like chump and draw. I don't think that's great, but I think I'm going to do it though. Just to, you know, I claim the reason this is good is because it's like weird cycling that gains you life and this is how I cycle it and gain life. So. Okay. If you wait on it forever, it doesn't get as good value. Wow! What? <laughs> oh, right, for the shade. Yeah, very funny. I guess I have my... I just drew my own shade. I could use a similar Why? trick, except... Why for the shade? You already sacked a creature, though. Oh, that's true. <laughs> You're right. It does work on both players. Uh, yeah. Okay, well... that explains why they didn't want to trade earlier. Um, flip and swing? With the... Well, I would draw the card. Yeah. But then they have a pretty good counter swing. Could play my own shade, doesn't accomplish much. Could flip and not swing, but... Well... Maybe that's okay. I guess I could wait on this. I could give this back up and swing? Or put back up here? Sure, this gains some life. Curves out wait. better. 
Oh, Does it's that? only a three. Oops. I thought it was going to get two counters like some idiot. Okay, I'm bad. I mean, I guess... Now I've made a blocker for the 2-2, two -two, I guess. Right. And when they're done sacking all their creatures, I can exile the shade. <laughs> that is one approach, yeah. Okay. If you didn't want to trade with that, you could have flourished first. <laughs> Well, they really like killing their own creatures, so maybe you should play your shade. Get some free value. Only it only works on uh, your your turn, right? So. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it's your answer. Well, we're certainly playing the aerialist. Do I make this a four-four, or just develop my own shade? How would you make it? Oh, it transforms with a counter, right? Yeah. Okay. I think I'll swing with the 2-2. Two -two. And if they, for some reason, block, I get the shade. If they don't, I get the life. Yeah, that's smart. Okay. And now... <laughs> I kind of like Wait, doing this. Isn't... Hmm? isn't uh... If you have a shade, you have a good double block, sort of, for their shade? I'm not... I'll, I'll let that hit me a couple times. I want to get some counters okay. down so I can start grinding my shade up. Or not counters, like tokens. If you, um... If you, uh, get another land, you can just exile their shade, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the shade. I'm usually not worried about the shades, as I have said. They, It's like they get a 9-10 and, like, I have big green creatures and they can't attack and then they die. This game, of course, I'm not going to have the big green creatures. But the shades kind of grow, but not that fast. Is that a... Okay, I thought I saw a shoulder. I was nervous. Pretty good hits, though. It's a little weird. I could double block this? I don't think I really have to. It's too dangerous. Hmm. Flip the aerialist. Swell. Maybe swing with these three. This can sacrifice itself, yeah. I think I'll swing with these three, see if I get a shade counter. And then I probably shouldn't risk flipping the aerialist because it might draw a non-land. Yes, you're vanquishing? Oh yeah, I sort of didn't realize that was a 3-3. Three, three. Most incubates are 2-2s. Two this is fine. Well, it's not great, though. Might as well cycle now, right? So you can get the land drop in. Yeah. <clears throat> they have they have like a drainer and a. I can't tell what the two drop is. It's oh, another, another one, one of these things let them sack their own creatures. That's pretty good. Not a full swing, weirdly enough. I think we just let the four in. Okay. My my triple attack didn't work out so great last turn. Hmm. 
I don't think Amon Ket's so hot right now. I need to kill one of these. I guess, obviously, it's the 4 5 that can get bigger instead of the 4 4 that can't. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna stack it, but at least that can't block something. Oh, but that's I true. Block. I won't get the incubate even. That is sad, but there's just not a lot I can do about it. Well, you could you always try swinging, swinging first, and maybe they will block, and then it dies. That's true. Obviously not with the... Not with the 2-2 two -two this time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're not going to block like this anyway, right? They're not going to chump a 2-2. Two -two. I think I want this back on blocks. Hmm. Okay. Oh, are they actually mono black, by the way? We haven't seen yeah. any other colors. Well, I guess you played two threes, right? Yeah, I could do uh, that. Okay, sure, why not? I don't think I have much reason to keep this in hand. I mean, they are playing black. I could get mind rotted. This doesn't help against that, of course. I don't know. I think I'll just hang on to it. But it still doesn't really trade well. It just trades for my 4 4 and a bunch of life. Yeah. Now, taking another 4 feels pretty bad. Are you going to be able to um, flip the battle? What does the 2 1 turn into? A 2 3. Oh, 2 4. Okay. So definitely not this turn. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm probably exiling this next turn, so this is sort of my best chance to get rid of what? Uh, to chump. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I mean, I see. it's bad, but I don't think I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I should be too married to shade value. This drag recycler is killing me. <laughs> I want to be able to incubate, man. Also, I should have played the island. Well... No. Because if I draw a land, I could like play this and flip the incubate, but they're not going to let me incubate. Oh, Gargantua is a good card to draw, I guess, if we can flip the invasion. So is Atris. Probably Atris is better, in fact. No, no transform. Nah, I'm I'm exiling this turn. I think. Oh. Okay. Isn't it gonna fizzle though? Yeah. Wait. What, what am I supposed to do? It's an instant. Do you? Oh, you're right. Have... Yeah, it doesn't have to be now. That's true. Yeah. Upkeep is probably better. Or no, even better. Just wait for them to attack. Right. Or like somehow they might tap the drag recycler. Oh, are they going to put counters on the 2-2? Two or in the battle, I mean? Or are they going to drain me? They're going to put counters on it. Okay. That makes sense. T 
Timurite is a 2 8. What a chad. Yes, that's a lot of black. Yeah. something I'm not sure exactly what it is I guess I kill the one one before they can turn it into a three three death touch um main phase so I get the counter right okay I see yes I don't need the mana for anything else Oh, do you have any good cards to draw into? I kind of lost track of what was milk. I have Atris. <laughs> After I flip Amonkhet. Uh huh. They're going wide on you. Yeah, probably too wide. If they swing with the Atris and the 3 5, I don't have good blocks for that. Well, I could double block the 3-5, I guess. Sorry, not Atris. Timurit. Oh, I don't have an Atris to draw. Whoops. That's pretty fucking bad. Oh, I, yeah, I meant what, what's left in your deck. Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, Halo Forger's very good. Rona's probably not so great. Unsealed in Acropolis is probably questionable. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to win this one. I mean, Halo Forager... I could recast an Exile spell. But I won't get the Incubate because of this stupid Recycler. Unseal, I guess. Main phase it, baby. Or... Well, yeah. Before they kill Yeah. Them. Yeah, because they're exactly Timurite. stuff that's already in there, yeah. Uh, what do I want? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. The Halo Forager. Uh, and... What is hmm. I mean maybe an Etherblade agent? Yeah. And what do I have at two mana or three that I could cast? Like a collective nightmare something. Honestly, I don't know. It's, it's so tempting to kill the drag recycler so they can stop. Doing this shit to you. Yeah, but how much more of this shit are they going to be able to do? I don't really have any more removal left. Except for this, which. Okay. Oh, yeah, you could. um. What, what is it called? The. Um, for a creature with power two or less, right? On their Timurit? Could be good. Vanquish it? Yeah. I also yeah. have Collective yeah. Nightmare. Yeah, but that doesn't kill Timurit. Oh, right. Timurat's fucking huge. Yes. Vanquish the Weak. Do we have one of those in the graveyard? They do. Somebody does, yeah. We also do. I mean, they'll pack it, but at least it's yeah. gone. And, you know, there's enough time that you could kill them with flyers. Well, I had to not die first. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that would be funny, wouldn't it? Um, I choose mine because they might care about my graveyard size, which is currently a thousand. I don't know. I guess I choose. That's... Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. That one. This one's mine. This is yours. 
I don't think it really matters which one, but I guess I'll choose mine. I think I maybe should have held back the 2-4 and just planned to flip with Halo Forger or gone face with it because like now I have some wasted damage here. Oh my god, it's Ayara. That's very, I don't know very... No, we, we're going to lose the game if we can't kill that and I don't believe we can kill that here. No, you can um, flip the battle and get another Halo Forger, right? Oh, you're right. You can get their Halo Forger to get their Vanquish. Sure, yeah. Well, Vanquish might not work if they flip it, but I guess they can't? Oh. Oh, they can. I... Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, no! <sighs> okay, well, I mean, at least we have a block for it. This is pretty bad. How many, how many cards? They have eight? We're winning the mill game, yeah. Um, okay, so, what do we have? Like, I think we could, we could exile oh, wait, them. Their thing, right? They have a final flourish to kill um, hmm. Ayara. If you sack the it's token. Two. Yeah, and I don't mind sacking the token actually because it puts a counter on something. This is a lot of attacking to be doing. But I think it's okay. Well, you're getting another forger. Yeah. That I thought they had. Um, well, that's. Oh, wait, no, it's. Oh, oh, this I is their graveyard. Mine. Oh, do I not have one either? Oh, it's in the play, yeah. Okay, well. I mean. Uh, taking the Etch Toast is pretty good anyway, I think. It's a big blocker that gains life, which I need. Yeah, that's true. And if not, they're gonna. Oh, they might. I guess they're taking another something on their turn, right? Yeah. They get a creature every turn. Yeah. But oh god, they get the gargantua again if they want it. Although mill. Yeah, it, they mill and they take two life. Like I think yeah. you can win the the flying. Yeah. We're yes, we're not very far away from killing them. If this is all they're gonna do. Oh, I forgot. This is a 4-4. Four, four. It's not a 3-5 anymore. Wow. They are really... Digging? Digging, yeah. I mean, I guess it's putting okay. more stuff in the graveyard that they could... Uh... Ow. It's kind of scary. I see. They have a loot. If they... They can loop... I thought this. Oh, I see. Right, they're sacking it before it gets exiled. Yeah. So they can't they can't top deck with it, but they can avoid the exile. They can get the same creature back every turn. Well. Which, by the way, they should have been taking back the etched host thing, right? Not the gargantua. Right. right. I think you have to get in with the Forger. Yeah. I'm not sure. Like, I don't think I can swing with the 3-3. Three, three. I want to, because they don't have great blocks for it. And I wouldn't mind drawing. Mm, but... Don't they just jump with the... No, they already have a Doom Bring in the graveyard, but yeah. I don't know. I mean... I think you want all the creatures on... Yeah, blocks. that's what I think too. I think they might just be killing me if they just swing all. Right? They have seven attackers. I have four blockers. I'm at four. Well, they're determined to, to draw their deck. We'll see. 
Yeah, if they take back the Gargantua again, we should be okay. I'm not at four, I'm at three. Where's my unsealed and Acropolis? I, I, I wish I were running two of them, right? <laughs> that would win yeah. the game. Well, no, because they just swing all and I die here, right? No, they're they're doing it. What are they doing? Okay, they found okay. it. Maybe? Okay, so we want to kill this. We want to chump for four, I think. Well, no, we can kill this. We want to chump three. We want to eat a 2 2 lifelink. Yep. Take four. This is lethal on this, their next turn. Okay. Okay, that'll kill me then. What? Oh no, wait, what? Okay. 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 Don't you have a gorilla? Isn't gorilla lethal here? Or is that not both players? That's only a million you, right? They can kill me before drawing a card. Oh, they... Okay, they can still kill me before drawing a card by using this. Okay, that's their plan. This this was lethal with, with zero card draws, right? If they, up, if they sack now and then upkeep sack? Yes. Okay, well, kind of a roundabout route. Maybe they were using Deck Tracker and knew the Etch Familiar was their last card? They might have they just already this. had it in hand, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I know he made one questionable attack, but Which, I, I can't. I believe you. Which one was that? When you swung out and they had like a 3-3 incubate token and you had a 2-2. Two, two, oh yeah, that was, just, that was pretty bad. This looks unplayable. I agree. <laughs> But they also just did have a pretty good engine with their yeah. stuff. The drag recycler to Yeah, I mean we didn't take any of those. We could have had a couple. I don't think they play that well with what we're doing. You know, you need Ayara or I mean they're okay with the shade and the thalid, but Uh, I'm on the draw. I'll be okay. All right, I like it. I mean, unseal is the other choice, but you can also put back the island, I guess. Since I do have an important double black spell, but there's a lot of swamps in the deck. Running into a lot of blue black these days, huh? I mean, I guess the last guy was just mono black, but we had another Demir Mirror, I thought. Yeah. Well, I kind of want to play a 2-2 next turn, which trades for this. But they're, I don't know, they can just pump it and then I'm sad. Oh, whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. All right, I suck at this game. Um. Ouch. Yeah. The bright side, you can cast a spell this turn. Yeah, that's very exciting. <laughs> Targeting the 3-3, three, three, I think. Yeah, this... I, I wouldn't mind them spending mana on that. I 
as they say, that's magic, baby. Maybe I'm supposed to toss derision? That seems so wimpy. Eh, that's, no, that's, I, that's way too wimpy. I mean, I think it was unseal or the land, but yeah. it's just unlucky. Yeah, mold of six, still get mana screwed. What can you do? Well, they can actually cast that if they have a land. That's pretty bad. Uh, I guess just... Derision the 3-3. Three, three. Or not Derision, Vanquish. Yeah, it makes sense to do it now. I mean, I'm not so sad if they counter it, because it means they're not playing this, but why let them? They might just not have the sixth land. Okay. Well, that's good news, although we're still pretty dead. <laughs> oh, wrong color. 3-3 um... three, three lifelinker is looking okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I briefly forgot that you could put it on itself. I mean, it doesn't block the 3 3 is the sad thing. Oh my god. Well, get vanquished. It does seem like a popular archetype tonight. Yeah, at least, at least with the bots. Okay, well, things have happened. Let's cast a spell that's blue and black in case that's an important part of our dailies. There you go. I'll, I'll, uh, I mean, is there even anything? I don't think so. No. What's this? Four and two? Three and two, I think. Oh, three and two. Uh-oh. Um, all right. I stand by my prediction. Which was five? Yeah. Hmm. Just be on the play and draw well. Yeah. I don't want to be the joke. This looks definitely keepable. Yeah. I mean, we hope for another swamp at some point, but I can keep up for a little while on two. Green and white and blue. Spooky. I have no idea what, like, the three color, if, you know, there's bombs in, like, every two color pairing and a lot of the three color sets. I don't know what the green, white, and blue one is, if there is one. I'm not sure. No attack. That's kind of a shocker. You think I would block with my 2-1? <laughs> it seems unlikely. Um... Well, timber it and then hold up Collective Nightmare, or do I swing in for two? I think I'd rather get the Collective Nightmare, right? Uh, yeah, I can't see what that transforms into, but I can't assume it's good for you if it does, so... Yeah, this... Oh, it's... I mean, it costs six to transform, but... Yes, it is pretty unpleasant if it just, like, turns into a 3-3 three -three that kills one of your guys. Got it. Land would be killer here. Is 
Zendikar. Okay, this these I, I predict mountain swamp. <laughs> swamp plains, close. So they don't have anything red. That's, I guess, good to know. I mean, I this is a 3-3. I can't block it, so... May as well just go for it. Why are we running two counter spells? It's good right now, but... <laughs> They can actually pay the four. That's so. You gross. Kinda... Yeah. Well, at least I get the incubate. I kind of what? I was gonna say, you kind of want want them to pay it, but not not on Rona, obviously. But like, right? No, they let it go. You... Okay. That's kind of shocking. What do I have to do with this mana that's even better than getting to cast Rona? I mean, maybe they just want to deny me a 3-3? Maybe they want to animate their own 3-3 and swing, and that's, that's important enough to them, I guess. That's not crazy. This is just like a land with vigilance and haste. It's very questionable to animate there, but Ooh, I could Halo Forager for zero. I guess that's what I'm doing. Yeah, it it's sad, but you still have, you do have seventeen lands, right? So yeah. At least Timurette's a 2-3 now, although if I block both, he won't be anymore. So I can't just trade for the 3-3 three, three and eat the 2-2 two, two if they attack with both. I see. Yeah, I imagine they're not too sad to attack with the land is the problem. That's a lot worse. My opponent has nine lands. I have three. It's going to be tough to... What the hell is this? Some rare backup thing? I've never even seen this. Deals combat damage. Look at that many players. Reveal a creature on wow. land. And they put it on this? Yeah, of course. All right. See you, Timmy. I think no attack Atris and oh. I mean because like what am I what am I gonna do if I just kill one of their things with derision well he, um, you wanna if you if you try with Atris you're giving them another card right most likely or as how the the warrior doesn't he get doesn't he draw? Oh, every I time? see. That's true. No, no. Atris is blocking the warrior. I mean, okay, but, they're but getting a card, strength? but yeah, I can't deal I with the know. five five otherwise, right? Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't look great either way. 
I think I'm more worried about my life total than their cards. I'm pretty close to dead here. And if they want to throw their 4-3 away for, like, killing Atris and getting maybe a card, I think that's okay. So they only get to look at two. They might not hit a creature. And a land doesn't really matter. That's weird. I need the land, and I don't mind the Rona. Right. The other one's some big removal spell. Count? No, yeah. A st <laughs> what? That was a terrible... I think he probably should have given me this face up and these face down. I don't know. I would never take this, though, right? So, hmm. Maybe put this with the land and give me Rona? I don't know. <laughs> this shouldn't be allowed. Yeah. I guess I'm out of here. Oh, God. That's pretty insane. Uh, I don't think I can live through this. Can I? I mean, I, I guess I obviously can. But if I don't chump here, I am dead. Okay. Well, three wins. Yeah, three wins in a row and then three losses in a row. Not sure. Which is what more happened? representative? Well, nothing happened. We just played against different decks. Drew different. Oh, you did. We did. He did change the land distribution, right? I don't think that was the problem. No, I know. But... There wasn't one of those games where I said, "Oh no, too many swamps. If only I had an island." Right. All right, I'm going to cast... Oh, I can cast two black spells, or a black spell, then a black sp uh, blue spell. I think... Yeah, the black spell kills a creature, right? So you might as well I don't, try I don't have to kill any creatures, though. I just have to cast spells. Okay. I think I they were, like... I don't remember what color they were, but... I remember one of them was blue and black, and the other was... I don't know. All right. Get fucked. Well, <sighs> tough crowd, sort of. I mean, this is the best of my four recent, most recent runs, so <laughs> I guess we, yeah. can't, we shouldn't be too sad. <laughs> Am I, are, do I? Do I have a hunt master? Is it, are that still the deck art, even though I cut it? I guess. Okay. Fine. Well, I mean, I'm not really sure what went wrong. Just not enough, like, bombs, I guess? Like, I don't know. I guess you could say that about a lot of decks. We have a ton of removal. We have some eventual grindy value. But if we don't hit, like... I don't know. Atris and Halo Forager, we're not really doing much proactively. Rona never did a damn thing. I mean, she was a 5-5. Five five. I mean, can you look on your... Tracker and see how many times you're on the, the draw. Sure. Uh, let's see. It shows me a three and three, so it does have all the probably, games. I'm oh. probably biased, but weirdly, uh, what do you remember? What we were in the last game. We were on the draw, right? It doesn't have that game I, yet. I believe so. So we were play, draw, play, draw, draw. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess all three of our losses, our, our last three games were on the draw and win was play draw play i don't really think being on the play was going to help in that game or indeed most of the games that i lost no i'm just i'm thinking about because one of the ones was a like a questionable mulligan based on the fact that you're on mm. the draw thinking that 
you definitely draw land. Oh, the yeah, not the mulligan, but the keep afterward. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, on the play, maybe I keep all three lands, dump the unseal. I probably should have done that anyway, but I don't know. 17 lands in the deck. It's got to work out. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.